Hey guys, Kurt here with NK Garage again, and today we're gonna do another tool haul reveal. This one's nothing crazy, nothing big, no toolbox, but um, you know, it was a small buy. I picked it up. I uh, found it on Facebook Marketplace, like I usually do, and um, I saw a bunch of ratchets in there. The guy listed it as a box of sockets, but I kept seeing ratchets, like, and I was like, I saw a snap on, so I was like, all right, you know, he was asking seventy five bucks, so I said, all right, you know, why not? So let's take a look and. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, was it worth it? Would you buy uh, this lot for 75 bucks? So let's get into it, guys. All right, guys. So this is the lot. Like I said, nothing crazy, not a lot of tools, no toolbox this time. But there's a decent amount of stuff in here, and I only paid 75 bucks. So let's take a look. I mean, I think, you know, why don't we start with the ratchets? Ratchets are fun. That's why I bought it. Um, first off here, got a Craftsman 3H drive ratchet. It's the, uh, you know, popular teardrop shape head with the, uh, quick release button. This one is USA made. It's a VR series, uh, number 44808. And it's in pretty good shape. I mean, it's actually like, looks like it was, you know, not really used that much. And, um... Doesn't really have any any issues with it, you know. The uh, gears work good, switch selector works good, quick release looks good. So that was definitely a good one to get. Next up here, we got a Husky Ratchet. It doesn't say USA on it anywhere, so I'm gonna assume it's one of the newer uh, Chinese or Taiwan or wherever they're making these things nowadays. But it's actually in nice shape. Everything works good. The quick release button works good. And um, I believe it's a 72 tooth ratchet. It's pretty fine. Um, if you watched one of my recent videos, I did a uh, Husky toolbox review. And uh, this looks just like the ratchets that are in there. So I'm going to assume it's probably um, the same kind of ratchet, probably made in China or Taiwan. But it's actually not a bad ratchet. It's great for like a backup or like a mobile toolkit, you know, knock around tool. Um, nothing crazy, but definitely not bad to have. All right, next up, we got a J.H. Williams USA Made S-52 Super Ratchet. And this thing, I think, is pretty cool. I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks cool. I think it's really uh, awesome shape and design. And um, it's definitely heavy and well-made. And the thing I like about it is when I turn this here... It's actually got a pretty high tooth count. I was trying to uh, count it before and I was turning this and I did a quarter turn and I got to about 20 when I hit 90 degrees. So I'm gonna guess it's like an 80 or 82 tooth ratchet. I could probably do some more research to find more about that, but considering the age of this ratchet, I mean, that was kind of like, they didn't really make a lot of high tooth count ratchets back then, especially in half inch drive. So I thought that was pretty cool and um, it's in pretty decent shape, besides, besides the fact that somebody went and etched storeroom on the side of it, but, eh, whatever, you know, it still works good. Next up here, got an old Snap-on. So this one here is actually the Snap-on FV70. Um, it's the Snap-on with the underline loco, so it's an older ratchet. Um, there's no quick release button or anything like that, but, um, I mean, it seems to be a nice little good ratchet. It's probably more meant for like a, uh, collector, somebody who collects vintage ratchets, especially snap-on stuff. Me personally, I probably wouldn't put this in my toolbox just because I'd rather have a, a modern ratchet. Um, but still a good find. It's in very good shape for its age. Uh, I'm going to have to, uh, service it. The gears are kind of, uh. They work, but it's like a little crunchy in there. It definitely needs to be opened up and cleaned out and re-greased. And while we're talking snap-on, here's yet another snap-on ratchet. So this one is F720A. Uh, this is a more, I'd say modern, but it's it's definitely still old. Could be from like the 90s, maybe early 90s, my best guess. Um, otherwise, you know, it's been used, but it's in okay shape. There's no etchings on it or anything like that. The only thing that kind of bugs me is one of the screws on the head is missing. So 
So far, I've only been able to find those screws with the whole service kit. And when I open it up, if I think I need the service kit, I will buy the whole service kit. But the service kit's like $20 and change. So I'm going to try my best to try to see if I can find a way to get a screw. Um, and hopefully get this thing fixed. But if you guys know where I can get uh, replacement screws for this, and I mean, I don't care if it's, uh, you know, comes in the original, you know, snap-on service kit. It just has to be the same length and thread and, and all that. But if anybody knows a way where I can get these screws, especially in bulk, because I'll just end up holding on to them and then I'll have them if I ever need them in the future. Because I'm sure that they are the same, you know, probably same length and um, thread as this other ratchet and probably many more snap-on ratchets. So it wouldn't be the worst thing for me to have, you know, a bulk amount of those sitting around. All right, let's find our next victim here. Is another Craftsman ratchet. This one, the um, round head. Um, I'm gonna assume this one. Uh, I mean, I would assume it's USA made, but I don't know. I mean, it's got the number four three seven nine five. If anybody out there knows if this is USA made or not, you know, leave a comment below because it's not marked. Um, it definitely is an older ratchet. It's quarter inch drive. This one also needs a service, but. I think service and ratchets is fun, so I'm gonna be tearing that apart with many others in here. All right, this next one's pretty cool. This one is a Penance Corporation, and it's the P-10. It's manufactured in USA. It's got this funny little switch in the front. Um, not very heavy duty, I'm afraid that's gonna break on me, but um, it's definitely cool. Quarter inch drive, this is a little loose here. This whole plate moves around, so I think that needs to be kind of opened up, serviced, and tightened. So I'm gonna be doing some more videos coming up soon where I service some ratchets. So stay tuned for this one, because this one's gonna be interesting. But uh, nice find, nice vintage find. Definitely a, a cool part of tool history here. All right, next up, we got another quarter inch drive ratchet. Here's another Craftsman ratchet. It's a USA made series K4AA. It's a number 44807. It's in pretty nice shape. I mean, it looks like this thing was barely used. It's like it's still nice and shiny and clean. So that was definitely a good find and it works great. All right, I think we got a couple more ratchets in here. This next one's pretty cool. Another quarter inch drive ratchet. This one's a Proto number 4749. And it's got the Los Angeles stamp on it. And I don't know a lot about Proto Tools and the Los Angeles logos, but I think the Los Angeles stuff is more desirable. Um, so I was trying to find a uh, comparable one on eBay and I couldn't find this exact ratchet. I found people with the same model, 4749, but they didn't have the Los Angeles stamp. So um, this one might be rare. I assume so. If you know more about this one, leave a comment below because I definitely want to learn more about the uh, Proto Los Angeles tools. All right, um, here's a uh, quarter inch breaker bar. It's a Bonnie V26. It's, uh, it's in decent shape. It's still nice and tight up here. Um, it clicks into the center position. Pretty good, you know? Doesn't have excessive wear or anything like that. It had a little bit of rust in the middle here. I kind of just cleaned that off before the video just to uh, show the um, the markings on here. I wanted to be able to read that. But um, otherwise, it's in decent shape. I think there's one more ratchet in here. Gotta find it. It's hiding. I mean, oh, here it is. It's hiding because it looks different. <laughs> it's an Ace Hardware quarter inch drive ratchet. It's really funny. Um, the switch goes like this. It's got the quick release, um, and it actually is high tooth count and works pretty good. It's nothing special at all, but um, normally I'd just kind of like throw this in like a bulk lot of tools to try to get rid of it. But I actually picked it up with this. This is an Ace Hardware 12 piece bit socket set for quarter inch drive. So I'm going to try to sell these as a set. I'm not going to ask a lot of money for it, but like I feel like as a set somebody might want this. This is all in its original package. I don't even know if these things were ever used. I'll probably um, just lightly dip this in a rust to kind of clean up those bits to make it look a little bit more attractive. 
and uh, put these two pieces on eBay for like real cheap. Other than that in here, um, we've got a couple quarter inch spinners. Here's just a, uh, seems to be unbranded. You know, nothing special. This one here is a her brand, made in the uh, good old USA, but it's it's bent, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix that. So it was cool, but it sucks that it's bent. And then here's another uh, Ace Hardware quarter inch spinner with the extension piece on it. So um, I guess I'll probably put that with the Ace lot, since you know three good pieces for that lot. Try to make it as most attractive as possible because even if I put it up for like I don't know 15 bucks on eBay shipping label will cost me five bucks profits ten dollars and that helps pay for this box for sure so um I know I won't use it because I have better stuff in my collection than that but uh somebody out there might want that because it's uh it's cheap um I got a 3 8 drive um speed crank here by craftsman it's one of the uh, vintage Craftsman logos. Can't really see it here, but um, it's got a little bend to it. But I think we're going to be able to fix that. So that was kind of cool. This is old enough where it doesn't have the um, serial number on it. So it's probably like the old uh, V series before they had the serial number. And then we have another 3 8 drive speed crank here. This one is a Husky Pro. Uh, number 22231P. Nothing crazy, but that probably would do good with maybe lotting up with some other Husky tools at some point. Husky tools do sell, not for a lot of money, but um, if I add it to a lot, it definitely attract buyers. I got one of these um, brake adjuster tools. This one just says Perfect T-76, made in USA. I've never seen this brand before, if that... Perfect is the brand, not sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a uh, rear brake drum adjusting tool, so it's pretty cool. Um, the rest of this is mostly sockets. Um, we have an impact um, 3 8 drive uh, impact, little hammer impact um, turner here. It's made by KD. It's the number 2060, and um, it's definitely been hammered but I mean it looks like it's in decent enough shape there's a couple wrenches in here um, not a lot but here they are I believe they all say Bonnie on them they're rusty but I'm gonna clean them up because they're vintage Bonnie wrenches and they're very small size this really rusty one in the middle of the double box I haven't even gotten to see what brand it is but the rest of them will say Bonnie so that's kind of cool Vintage stuff is always cool. Got a couple of extensions in here. Got two of these uh, bendy extensions. They're not even branded. Um, I'm just going to put those to the side. Um, I don't really care much about those. I don't personally use those. Um, I guess it might help you out in a pinch, but I mean, if you got a good selection of tools, I've never needed that before. I got a quarter inch uh, Bonnie. It's a V18. Quarter inch extension, looks to be about a six inch. It's a nice find. There's definitely some vintage Bonnie collectors out there. This one's a Stanley 86-207. Nothing special, kind of dirty. There's an old rusty, crusty, junky, probably unbranded. I don't see any writing on it. This one... I don't even know if that's an extension or just a piece of something. Let's see. Another 3 8 drive extension, 3 inch unbranded. Craftsman H Series 44264 USA, 3 inch extension. It looks dirty, but that one actually will clean up okay. This looks like another unbranded one. All right, before we get to the sockets, there is this um, sliding T-handle uh, quarter-inch drive breaker bar made by Bonnie, the V17. It was definitely cool. It goes along with the other Bonnie tools. We got this little um, 
Craftsman, USA made, ratcheting little screwdriver, number 4116. These are definitely useful, they come in handy. Um, you don't think you'll need it, but one day you're gonna come around and, and need that, so that's a good piece to have. And I think the rest of this stuff is pretty much all sockets. I mean, here's another junk extension. Um, sockets are varying in brands. I'm not gonna go over every single socket, but I will pick out some of the main brands just to show you the selection. Got an old Williams here, Williams USA. Um, half inch drive, deep socket. This one here is Craftsman USA. It is a 15, 16 inch, uh, six point deep half inch drive socket. Uh, here's another Craftsman six point half inch drive socket. Pretty nice one. We got a lot of SK sockets in here. This one's 11 sixteenths. Here's another Craftsman, the old, uh, V series before they had the serial numbers on them. Here's another Williams socket, another deep socket, 12 point. This one's 3H drive. Got more Craftsman sockets. This one here is SK Wayne, so adds to the SK collection. It's a spark plug socket, 13 sixteenths. Um, here's another cool one. This is a Duro Chrome 7 8 eight point socket for half inch drive. So that's a rarer find and it's actually in pretty nice shape. It's dirty, but it's like never used. There's tons of Craftsman sockets, SK Wayne sockets. Um, there's another Craftsman. More SK stuff. There are a couple of these um, Husky Pro sockets in here, these black ones. Kind of interesting. Here's a cool one. This is a Mustang brand, made in USA. Number MT1226. It's a 13 16 12 point socket for a half inch drive. These Mustang sockets are kind of cool when I find them. They're nothing too, you know, crazy of a find, but they're definitely cool when I find them. Here's another cool one. It's a Craftsman, the old V series, original V series. It's a swivel socket, 6.716 inch. 3H drive. It's an old rare find. The swivel sockets, I mean Craftsman made a good amount of them, but you know, they didn't make as many as they made of everything else, so they are kind of harder to find. Here's another Duro Chrome 8 point socket. This one's 5 8 Got a Proto socket here. Unfortunately, somebody drew all over it with their engraver, but definitely a cool find. I'm seeing more Craftsmen. Oh, these are these are cool. Oh, and here's another extension. These are all old Bonnie tools. So um, definitely goes with those older Bonnie stuff. Quarter inch drive. Um, definitely cool stuff. This is just a Duralast. A lot of Craftsmen. A bit more SK. And um, I know there was one snap-on socket, just one. And it's in here somewhere. This is another. This is a small William socket, quarter-inch uh, drive, quarter-inch deep William socket. That's cool. There was one snap-on socket. It's like finding a needle in a haystack here. I'd like to show it to you. Oh, here it is. I think it was this one. Yep, that is it. It's rusty and crusty, but that's the snap-on with the underlying logo. Quarter-inch drive socket, six point. It's three-eighths inch. Kind of cool. Older vintage snap-on socket. Um, and yeah, the rest of this is really just Craftsman, SK, a couple other random pieces in here. But um, you know, this is all good filler inventory for my eBay store. Um, Believe it or not, I mean, these sockets, like, even like some of the cheaper ones, like this is just a Craftsman three quarter inch socket. Um, I might only sell it for seven bucks, but I'll make like a dollar on it. 
after shipping and eBay fees and that adds up like when you just start stacking them and counting them and all of a sudden you have 50 in here and every once in a while you hit kind of like the jackpot on some sockets some of them are 10 bucks some of them are 11 some are 12 some are 15 sometimes they're 20 dollars and um it all depends on rarity size condition brand and all that factors in differently so even there are even some craftsman sockets where i get up to 30 dollars for them but they got to be the right ones and some of them only sell for six seven dollars but even if i make after shipping and fees 50 cents you know I feel like it's worth it because it's just adding more reviews and feedback to my eBay store. And if I'm going to sit there and look up the value of a socket, I might as well just list it anyways. And I could bang out these little socket listings like maybe a minute on each. So if I can do 60, bang out 60 in an hour, hour and a half, um, that's not bad. That's really not bad. And like I said, some of them I make three, four dollars on. So it adds up. The ratchets was definitely why I bought it. That's the fun part. I love ratchets. I think they're really cool. I love sockets too. But that's this filler inventory from my eBay store. This is kind of like guaranteeing my money back. Uh, sockets can take a long time to sell. Ratchets are quicker to sell if you have the right ones. And I like playing with them. I like cleaning them. I like servicing some. So definitely fun stuff. Well, I want to thank you guys again for watching today, but before we end today's video, I'm going to uh, show you guys my business partner, Nick, and he's going to talk about his channel for a second. So I'm going to switch over to him in one second, and we'll show you guys what he's all about. All right, so I wasn't able to get Nick away from his toys. How's it going? How are you doing today, Nick? Oh, just giving the old mini a service yeah it's cool i remember when you got this thing yeah i bought it off of a 10 year old kid believe it or not <laughs> yeah it was fun and how old were you uh probably 20 yeah sounds about right 18 to 20 i'd say mm -hmm. but uh great machine i love my hondas but anyway guys um so i'm from nk landscaping llc the same company that I am Kirk. also from NK Landscaping LLC. I got if my shirt you, uh, on. If you're smart, you can add Nick and Kurt. That's how we got our really great name. But I make videos on the day-to-day -day, uh, jobs that we do here at NK Landscaping LLC. So a lot of hardscape work revolving around uh, excavation. Um, we have a mini excavator, skid steer. So if you're into any content revolving around that type of work, give us a give us a little checkout. Um, I put out videos at least once a week. Um, they're a little longer, but if you want to check out some of the cool jobs we do involving our tools and machines and our crew, it'd be great if you uh, want to check us out. So, thank you. All right, and just in case you guys want to know easy way to do that, just click on the NK Garage channel, scroll to the bottom, and you'll see a thing that says check out our other channel, and the link will be right there. So, go check us out even more. And um, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Tools.